Welcome to the Pegasus Communication Solutions Customer Portal. In this video, I'm going to go over call routing and forwarding options on the extension level. Some things in this video will look different than previous videos because um, I've chosen to uh, log in to my own account. I wanted to make sure that it would basically show accurately what it would look like to a customer, to you guys, when you're doing it. So, from your home page, go to the Services tab at the top of the screen. Then, from the list along the left side here, choose Extensions. Then you'll see the list of the extensions on your account. Scroll down, I'm going to choose to edit my extension. It shows the details up here, status, and then routing and configuration. So under call routing, try first is what happens first when an incoming call is directed to your extension. Um, this phone here, that means that it's my phone. My The Mac ID of my desktop phone is assigned to this. If busy, that's where you can say what happens if you're on the phone and another call comes in and if you don't answer the call waiting. If not answered is what happens if you just don't answer the phone at all. And if line, that's, this is what happens if your internet goes out or for some other reason your phone is offline, meaning that you would not have this green check mark up here. Um, oftentimes the uh, the status light on your desktop phone will be flashing. This is kind of a an emergency backup, if you will. So the first thing is if you set your try first to an outside number, for example, then all of the incoming calls to your extension would go directly to your cell phone number or whichever number you entered there. You can also change it to another extension. So if you're going to be um, out of town and you wanted to forward your calls to another location or another one of your coworkers, you could choose to send it to their extension. Then um, same thing goes for if you can't answer the phone, you could choose to have that call route over to someone else. So say if I wanted to have Suzanne answer the phone if I couldn't get it. Um, if not answered, typically this is going to be your voicemail mailbox. You could, uh, one option would be set it to your cell phone. So that way if you're not in the office and a call comes in, it will go eventually and forward the call to your cell phone rather than the caller getting voicemail. And then of course the if offline setting here is the best way to back up and make sure that you don't miss any calls if for some reason there's an outage, like if your internet goes down. Um, leaving it set to mailbox, of course, is fine. That means that your incoming calls will be still routed to your voicemail and they'll be recorded and you can access them from the portal or they'll show up on the phone when the phone goes back online. But if it's something where you do not want the calls to be going to voicemail, you can choose to route it to another extension or your outside number. So that's pretty much how this uh, the call routing works here under your extension. And um, I know it can be kind of confusing. So if anyone needs any clarifications on this or has any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And I will be glad to uh, make another video or explain anything that I didn't quite make sense on.